In this tutorial I'll show you how to make an icon from your logo. I am using logo of the Bigly diet and bodybuilding software. It already has a transparent background, but when I zoom in I can see the deterring artifacts. They will cause a bit of trouble later. It is best if you have your logo in the .png pronounced pink format. Let's use the Create Custom Vista icon button and leave all settings as they are. The resulting icon has all the image sizes and color depths required by Vista. And it looks ok, but we will try to improve it anyway. Close this window and run the transformation command again. Change the gamma to 2 and select the 16 times 16 pixels image and move the sharpening slider to the right by 3 steps. Do the same for the larger images, but only move the slider by 2 or 1 step. The larger images do not need so much sharpening. Click OK. These images look better. We could end here, but after I save the icon, I'd like to show you how to make a simplified icon by only using part of the logo. There are multiple ways how to choose parts for the simplified icon. In this tutorial, I'll just pick the colored dots and the central gear. Not necessarily the best choice, but good for demonstration purposes. I'll need to delete the other parts from the image. I'll be using the Erase by Flute Fill tool. When it is set to multiple multi-point mode, I can click multiple times to select multiple sources for Flute Fill. Due to deterring, I'll need to use the rectangular eraser and then delete individual pixels with pencil eraser. An alternate way to simplify the logo would be to erase the text and the dots. Never put more than one letter on an icon if you can avoid it. Icons are supposed to be pictures and they are usually displayed together with text. In this case it would be best to erase everything except the central gear and then draw a circle filled by the original radial gradient under the gear. Erasing all the dots introduced by deterring in the source image can take a lot of time.
Now use the remove empty border operation and convert the picture to icon. Uncheck the larger image formats. Copy the images to clipboard by clicking on the copy images toolbar, toolbar button. Return to our old icon and paste the images. Save the result. We could end here, but I'll show you one more thing that helps when creating icons for Vista. Open the file again and switch to the Projected Shadow tool. Drag with your mouse from bottom of the image upwards. This will create a projected shadow which you can further modify. Save the final icon and that's all. Really. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.